What's up, guys? Happy Halloween. Yes, yes, yes. I love me some Halloween, as you can see. If you don't know who I am, then go check out Invincible, go read the comic, go watch it on Amazon Prime. One of my favorites, but I figured I would dress up for Halloween. My wife and I do it. This is our 10th year, so we did Invincible and Adam Eve. Uh, go check out my Instagram. You'll see the pictures of us uh, of Halloween today. And then you'll see our last nine years of the costumes we did. So super fun. Just a tradition that we do all the time. And yeah, so I'm all bloody, beat up, got in a fight this morning. Uh, but we do have a toy haul here. And we're going to go through some stuff. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys have a great Halloween and get dressed up. Don't go to a party and be that loser that doesn't dress up and everybody else is dressed up. Come on, be a kid. Who cares? So again, if you are new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. We put videos out all the time. Lots of fun toy stuff, a lot of nerdy stuff, and occasionally you'll see me dress up in something ridiculous. So um, yeah, for everybody who has come back, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the support. And I hope you guys like my costume. Hope you guys like my video. So let's get into it. So we got quite a bit of stuff here. I'm not going to open some of it. So let's hear the booze. Uh... Yeah, there they are. So, um, sorry guys, my hair is just <laughs> all over. So we are going to open, uh, some stuff here, but not all of it. So as you see, we got some legends, we got some pops and we got some Disney interesting okay so let's just go into it i'm gonna do the stuff that we are not gonna open first and oh 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 there it goes okay so first two things we have and i'm not gonna open them are two new spidey legends yes super happy to find these miles morales and then the regular spider-man uh with tom holland's head so super cool um i'm not gonna open these i don't i didn't even i know i'm gonna flip it around um i didn't get i don't usually open my spidey legends so i'm not gonna open these but this is the gamer verse miles morales really cool got him on walmart.com uh part of the new spider-man wave for no way home really cool um the miles costume just looks really good and his effects are really awesome so Really, really cool. And then you've got the regular Spider-Man with the Tom Holland head. Um, I believe this is a Walmart exclusive. I found the original one of this. It just, it's almost exactly the same. Doesn't come with Tom Holland's head, um, but this one does. And it actually does look like Tom Holland. So that's pretty cool as well. And then there's the back of that one as well. So nothing crazy. Like I said, I'm not gonna open these. These are really, really cool though. So if you find them, you know, pick them up. Awesome. I do have the... We'll see. We, get, we got Doctor Strange and um, Shriek from this, but I'm still trying to find that black and gold Spider-Man one. So we'll see if we can find that. But there's those two. Just wanted to show those for you guys. I know I didn't open something. I'm. It's. It is what it is. So, but we'll actually go into this. So next thing we got is a Brightburn pop. So if you guys don't know what Brightburn is, it is a superhero movie that came out in 2019. Uh, it is James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy. And yeah, it's it's a very interesting movie. Um, I'm going to pop him open. It's not terrible. It's not great either. It's almost like it needed to be three hours long and so you could see a lot more stuff. But basically, it's like Superman coming to Earth when he was a child. But he ends up being bad. So um, pretty cool. This guy's name is Brandon Breyer. <laughs> so Brandon, what up? That's my name as well. If you don't know, that's why I'm a collector B. Um, yeah, so he. this is pretty cool though because he does come with a stand. And his whole look is just creepy. If you watch this movie, um, you will see him. It's this little kid. And he. I don't even know where he gets this mask from. Like he just pulled it out of yeah. nowhere. Yeah. And it's, it's just really, really creepy. But it's really cool because he does kind of float along in the movie like this a lot. There's a whole scene where his mom's under the bed and he's just floating along the bed. So this is really cool. I actually really like this pop. I like that the stand is just attached because um, that's really the pose I really wanted to put him in. And it stands really easy. So again, I know you guys don't, a lot of you don't like pops like crazy, but 
this one we had to get. I, I thought it was really cool. Again, the movie's okay. You'll have to let me know what you guys think about it. Because I, I expected a little more, but it wasn't bad. So, Brightburn, Brandon Breyer, right? That's what I said. Yeah, Brandon <laughs> Breyer's pop. So, there's our pop for the day. I'm sorry, guys. The blood on my face is, like, drying. So, it's, like, it's just cracking and getting up my nose. So, yeah, fun time. So, okay. So, we are going to open a legend, though. So, boom! Was super, super happy about this wave when it came out. This is Magneto from the Age of Apocalypse wave. Magneto, right? Magneto. <laughs> uh, Magneto, Age of Apocalypse wave. I believe this is the wave two that they've done. They already had uh, Age of Apocalypse wave. But there, this is a really good wave. I only got the Sabretooth, the Magneto, um, and the Cyclops from it. I'm actually really disappointed in the Cyclops. It just is not as good as these ones. Um, but the Magneto is so cool. We are going to pop this open. I ended up getting two of him because I wanted to pop him open. Um, if you guys have watched my channel, you all know that, you know, I don't, I don't open a lot of my legends. I just, I don't. I like their boxes. I like to keep them in there. But there is certain ones that I usually get two of or I just don't really care. And I do open them. Um, but Magneto, I did want to get two. And there is a reason why. So... Here he is in box. Um, I do like that even though this one did not come with a Build-A-Figure piece, he comes with quite a bit of accessories. Um, the one thing I noticed about the Cyclops one is his box, even when he comes with a Build-A-Figure piece, the box looks so empty compared to everybody else. He doesn't come with alternate head. He doesn't come with really any effects. So that was kind of a disappointing. But Magneto looks really cool. Old style head Magneto. So he comes with these purple effects. They're a lot more flimsy than I thought they would be. But, I mean, that's cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. They'll just go around his hands, I believe. Do, 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 do. And then we've got two fist hands. My fingers are all bloody. Oh, not that one. So two fist hands there. And this is the whole reason I got a second one was this head sculpt right here this thing is cool he's got his helmet on and he's got his braids his eyes are rolled back looks like undertaker and there's his long hair and the helmet just looks really clean i'm really happy with this head sculpt i kind of wish he came in box with this head sculpt on but that's when all y'all will say that's why you open your legends collector b that's why you open all your toys we don't open it. Oh, great. Ugh. All right. Sick. So, oh, man. He's, he's really cool, though. I think this is... The Sabretooth might be my favorite from this wave, just because he looks so cool. But this Magneto is really awesome. And look at that. He stands fantastic. So, just really cool. I really like... His outfit, the purple looks really, really good. Um, the cape is nice. That This head sculpt is really good, too. I do really, really like it. And he just looks clean. I mean, it's a really nicely done figure. Again, would have been better with a cloth cape. But this cape isn't too bad. I mean, it's a lot stiffer than, like, McFarlane. Oh, yeah. It's really stiff. But um, I'm okay with it. I mean, again, I would have liked something else. But it's not bad. So there he is there. We are going to see how easy it is to pop off this head. It's probably not going to be very easy. Okay. So there's that head sculpt again. If you guys want to see a closer look. We are going to throw this bad boy on. It's always so hard to get the head sculpts back on. I hate it. You wait to hear that pop, and half the time you don't hear it, or half the time you think you broke it, like I did right there. Okay. Let's throw some effects. Oh, these effects are very, like, just flexible. This is, like, the hardest thing to do in this costume. I'm not a fan of doing a video in a costume we're gonna have to remember that because i just i feel just like not comfortable out of place here i can't even get this going right now hold on these effects are funny like it's it's almost like a circle effect but like 
I'm not exactly sure how, like, where they're supposed to go. I mean, I believe they go on his hands, but they don't, like, stay on very nice. But I have that song stuck in my head. <clears throat> Alright, I'm I'm having issues. Whatever. We'll do one. So there he is. He stands really easy. I don't even have to do anything with him. But oh, 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 oh. as I say that. So there he is. I really like this head sculpt. I think it's really good. I'm going to have to do some really cool posing with him. One thing I wish they would have done almost, and I'm not a stand person, but a flight stand for him would have been really cool. Just to have him up in the air with those effects and that helmet. But I'm definitely going to wear this helmet on him. Um, well, wear this, keep this helmet on him. <laughs> but this head sculpt is really nice, too. It's just a really good figure. I really, really like it. I'm super happy to get a second one. So you have to let me know uh, if you guys got this wave, which one's your favorite. Like I said, I think the Sabretooth is really good, too. Um, I didn't get two of him. I'm not going to pop him open, but pretty solid. They do a really good job with these uh, AOA waves from X-Men. So. so there we go. So... Magneto, one of my favorite X-Men, had to get that. Um, next couple things we have, I'll show you another thing that we're not going to open. So we got the new gold label Azrael Batman armor. Um, I'm not going to open this one. I really do like this silver look. If you have collected McFarlane before, um, they have the black and gold version of this. The silver and red looks really, really good to me. It looks, again, really clean. I just don't feel like opening him up. Um, I'm just going to leave him. Maybe if we get another one, we'll do it later, but... Um, there's not too much differences when I looked at this one and the black and gold one. Um, it's, again, just a repaint, and then they slap a gold label on there. So this was at Walmart. You guys should be able to find this pretty easily. Um, there is the back of the box. Uh, weird that the people on the back of the box, what is it? It's uh, people Dr. that have Fate. already been out. Yeah. Bat Cycle. Is the demon on there? Yeah. Etrigan is yeah, on there. King Shazam. Yeah, so, I mean, it's it's weird how they keep doing these back-of-the-boxes because this dude I have just now found and all these other ones I found quite a while ago. So, um, pretty cool, though. You guys will have to let me know if you pick this up, if you prefer this one or the black and gold one. Uh, I actually really prefer this one, so that's why we're going to leave him in box. He's going to sit there. But I'll tell you this. The rest of this, I'm opening for sure. What should we do first? Do you want to do your Marshmallow Man? Yeah. Let's do the Marshmallow Man. So... This is from the new Ghostbusters Afterlife. Now, again, uh, I know a lot of you don't collect pops. You're probably sitting here like, come on, you just keep doing pops. I get it. But this is a nice little find. We, I didn't even know it came out. She didn't even know it came out. But you get a pop. You get a shirt, I believe. Yeah. And I believe the pop glows in the dark. So there we go. So we're going to have to test that out. So we are going to pop this open. This is more for my wife. She does like these marshmallow man so i wonder if that's why she likes me because i'm a marshmallow no you're not <laughs> so here we go this was at target again we only found one though um i didn't know they had this so kind of cool i like these uh pop boxes that they do when they give you a shirt i know you guys have probably seen me do the venom one on here um really cool so let's do the shirt first do you think the shirt glows in the dark probably not oh the shirt is really cool <laughs> probably not huh i don't think so probably just the pop where's the opening there's no opening okay so here is the shirt yeah <laughs> stay puffed and you've got all of them on there oh he's even got the long lighter there that's cool so pretty cool shirt you get with this what was this was this it's 24.99 it was 24 we did have a five dollar coupon so that was nice um but so you get this shirt this is a large oh there were magneto's other head huh hand and here wow he looks funny is it bad here is the marshmallow puff so this is interesting because, okay, it is Target only, which is where we found it. But I didn't even know they had all these. Oh. Have you seen? I haven't seen any of those. So that's kind of cool. If you like these little marshmallow guys, they are kind of fun. Um, we did collect some little guys of them to put on everywhere. But this is really cool. Mini puffed on fire. So really cool there. He does glow in the dark. I want to see. 
Well, it's... Oh, the light's on. Well, we'll have to check it out, and I'll add it into the video. See if he really glows in the dark or not. Um, oh, that's the fan. Okay. But pretty cool. So it looks like you can get quite a bit. I actually really want that one with the lighter. Look at right. him. Just all demon-like. Just, demon -like. I'm going to light you on fire. Yeah. So pretty cool. Do you want me to open him? Open it. Okay. Let's pop him up. I don't keep things in boxes. Oh, maybe this should be your channel. <laughs> And yes, she did beat me up, so that's why. <laughs> and he's not going to stand well, is he? There he is. There is Mini Puffed on fire, and oh. apparently he glows in the dark. So we will have to try that out, see if he glows in the dark, see how different he looks. Um... But he is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. He comes with the match and then the match on fire and then he's on fire. He looks a little too happy. Like he looks sad, but he looks like he should be like screaming. You know what I mean? Like, ah, like he's running around. Um, look how small he is compared to Brandon Breyers. That's that's kind of crazy, mm -hmm. but pretty cool. I'm happy we got the shirt. We're That's awesome. She's probably going to steal it. So that's my, my shirt. shirt. Yeah, there you go. So, all right. So next two things we got um we'll do this one first this is a random random find for me so this is buzz lightyear from disney mirrorverse okay i don't usually collect all this stuff but if you guys have not seen the trailer for what is it infinity no Lightyear. Lightyear. Yeah, Lightyear. Yeah, sorry. If you haven't seen the trailer for Lightyear, um, which is basically it's from pixar's uh, soft toy story but it's basically buzz before Toy Story um, and shows how he becomes Buzz Lightyear. I think it looks fantastic. I, I love Toy Story. I mean, obviously collecting toys, we all want Toy Story to happen in real life, you know, unless you've seen small soldiers and they come at you and you're like, oh my God, you know, hopefully you have the Gorgonauts to, you know, mess them up. But um, I love Toy Story, but man, I've seen this figure a couple times. And huh, I've told you a couple times, I kind of really want to get that, but... Yeah, I, and then you saw the trailer. Then I and... saw the trailer, and... I have to get it. I had to get it. I really did. I did. I am so excited for that. I think it looks so cool. Um, it's probably going to be terrible, but um, I'm really excited. So it made me get this Mirrorverse Buzz Lightyear. I also really like Buzz Lightyear, but um, this thing is really heavy duty as well. So... I kind of wanted to see it. I'm not going to collect any more of these Mirrorverse ones. I think the Jack Sparrow and all the other ones look just horrible. I keep staring over here because I have my San Diego Comic-Con Predator, and he just decided to start lighting up in the box for some reason. He hasn't lit up in a while, and there he goes. I don't... He, they're not going to be able to see it, probably. Oh, you can but see it. He's just he's going nuts today. I don't know why. It's Halloween. The spirits are alive. So... This is almost like a McFarland DC. You do get a stand. I believe his wings are in there. Um, and you get a card as well. So I don't know much about this Disney Mirrorverse. It's I know a it's a game. Pack. Huh? Just oh, is this a pack? I don't know. Well, and I know, like, I believe this is like a game and stuff, but um, I'm not going to be doing that. This is more for me just because of Lightyear. And I can't wait for that. So there's one wing. And here's wing number two. And you have a card. Oh, yeah. So he has stats, um, a bio. So it's some game. I've, I've never played any of these Disney games. I know they had something before Mirrorverse. Um, just not really what I'm into. But and then he's got his jetpack backpack thing. And he does come with a stand, which is funny. I love that the stand is just the exact same as the DC ones. It just doesn't say DC. So, so there it is. Pretty, he's pretty heavy duty, I will say. Which is funny because you look at the other Mirrorverse figures. Uh, figures. Um, and like I said, the Jack Sparrow to me looks just horrendous. And they just don't look good. But this guy's heavy. I'm excited. I wanted to see what this is about. Obviously, I had Buzz Lightyear and Woody growing up as a kid. Those old school ones. God, he's beefy, man. So, he's not going to have... That's what I thought. He doesn't have crazy articulation range in this arm. Because his chest is so beefy, he just doesn't have a ton. But he is really cool. So, there he is like that he's pretty small though i mean you can see next to like um brightburn and magneto he's about magneto size he's a little more beefy 
but they did a good job um, with the details and everything on him. It does look really nice. Um, there's a little paint app miscues here and there, but there he is. He does look really, really funny on the back without his jetpack, obviously. Um, but it's not bad. I do like it. His legs, I'm really scared these are going to break. Um, ever since Danny broke, I've been really scared. And okay, so this does bend up, so you can do his le legs like that, but they are very skinny. Um, this is going to have to pop in. How do we pop this in? Let's see. Okay. This thing's funny. Let's see. It like doesn't line up very well. Let's see, so like these line up, but then that is not lining up that's kind of weird this thing is i must be doing it wrong okay so that latched eh. okay did you get it no you gotta like it's really weird because these pieces line up but like this has to line up as well and so mine wasn't lining up so you're gonna have to force it a little bit um it does look a lot better his back like that it does make him look a lot better and watch it was probably like insert wings before you put it on this thing's pretty tough to put together i feel like i'm gonna break these wings okay they just stick in like that that's kind of interesting there we go god he's very heavy in the back so there he is i actually really like it um only thing that's really disappointing to me i would have preferred if they would have done like the old toys where you could fold the wings in um but that you can't do that at all there's the back and it's very it's very weird to get that back piece in and he's very as you can see he's just tilting back because that is so heavy it's going to be kind of hard to like pose him in a good pose he's very flexible but like it's kind of a hard pose right like it, yeah. it's weird but i do like it it is really cool it's something different um it you know he was 20 dollars, and again i'm super excited for that movie i think it looks really cool i guess that's probably why he comes with a stand just so you can like get it better the only gripes i have one this back piece like i said i wish the wings could fold in that would be really nice. I guess you just take them out, you know, and there you go. But it would have been nice to see them fold in. And my other thing is, where's his helmet? Where's his helmet? I would have loved to have his helmet there too. So, but that's okay. So there he is, Buzz Lightyear from the Disney Mirrorverse wave. So not bad. Uh, again, go check out that trailer if you haven't seen it because I am super excited for it. So, um, all right. So last thing we have, save this for last because this is what I was most excited for. So, let's move Mr. Lightyear out of the way. And here we go. Superman Unchanged Energized Armor. So cool. I know I said that different than what the package says, but that's it, it's really cool. So, if you've been collecting McFarlane for a while, which or if you've seen some of my videos, um, they have done this now with the Hellbat and now with the Superman Unchained with just another repaint so you know again McFarlane repaint 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 it's, it is kind of annoying but this one I am super excited about here is the original of the Superman Unchained which is one of my favorite McFarlane's this one in the Hellbat suit are just so cool looking I love again I love Superman and Batman in any armor I think it's really cool um you have the, just the great details on the armor and then obviously he has the wings on the back and just his helmet. That is one of my favorite helmets that they've done. This is, again, one of my favorite figures. So when I saw this coming out, I was like, hmm, another repaint. That kind of sucks. But I did like the coloring and I really wanted to see it in person. And we went into Walmart and we found him and the Azrael. This is also gold label, even though it's just a repaint. So kind of weird again, but... Um, found him was super excited to get it i think it looks really good and we are going to pop him open and compare to this one
if he wants to come out. Okay, there we go. So you have in the box, you have the wings in the back. I believe this is exactly how they did it with this one. Um, I opened this one a long time ago, so obviously I don't really remember, but... No gold card stand again. No, only King Shark got that card stand, that gold card stand. So there's one wing. Um, again, this figure is going to be exactly the same as this one. It's just going to come with a different card, and it's going to be repainted. There's the card, obviously. It is the same picture on the back of the box, but there's the card in there for you guys. So you do get a bit different card. I do like that, at least with these, they did give you a different card and not just the same one. Um, but man, I really like the coloring on this guy, so I'm really excited. He's just so beefy to me. Like, he's not beefy, but he's just... Oh, see, I really like this one. The coloring on this thing is so, so cool. Let's see, how do we want to do wings? Yeah. The wings were always kind of a pain to get on for me last time I put them on, but... Yes, they're just these little pegs. They're kind of a pain. As I break the wing. Oh, goodness. What's well, hard? This hole's not drilled out very well, so we might have got a bad one. There we go. Just had to force it in there. And there he is. Let me make sure he's going to stand, because I did mess with this leg a little bit. Whoa. He's a lot looser than the first one I had, which is kind of interesting. I feel like they're not doing as good of a job anymore with like the QC. Like obviously you do want them loose, but like that one's standing perfectly fine in this pose. And this one's just way just loose all over the place. And he's just gonna tilt back. It's like his feet are almost different, but they're not. Pose. Stay. So there he is. So there are the two. You can just see it's just minor differences um, with coloring. The coloring is just the only thing that is different. But the coloring on this one looks so cool. I really, really like the red and the yellow. And then you have the darker blue. What kind of blue would you? It's like a grayer blue. It's almost. like a steel blue. Yeah. Almost. So it says this bright blue. So I really like it. Um, and then, of course, you know, the wings. You can have them come out, which I'm pretty sure I probably put them on wrong, but um, whatever. I don't really care. And there he is. So there it is. Um, his wings are getting caught with Buzz's wings. We got lots of stuff with wings today. Um, and the back is, again, exactly the same. So you don't have any difference, but oof, man, I, I don't know. This one is really really cool i really like the face on this one and i really really like the coloring um what is funny though is we did find a couple of these at walmart and the he's gonna be a pain to stand which is crazy to me because that one stands so well um we did find a bunch of them at walmart and the chest piece was uh painted pretty different on a couple of them so definitely check that out when you guys are buying them because some of them looked pretty bad. Some of them looked okay. I can't get him to stand very well though. That is kind of a big bummer for me because again, I didn't do much to this one and he stands easy. Look at that. So his feet are a little different. I mean, they're not, it's the exact same foot, but it just, again, I feel like they just, um, not doing as well on the QC because he stands perfectly fine and he doesn't, but I'm super happy with this one. I think it's really good. Let me know which one you guys like better, this energized one or the red and blue one. Uh, let me know what you think about Mr. Light here, here, even though he looks like he's hunchback because otherwise he's going to fall over. Um, then obviously, you know, you've got our pops. And honestly, this is probably my favorite thing we got is this Magneto, but this is really good as well. So yeah, there's, there's our toy hunt. So 
I know we haven't been doing videos weekly. Um, a lot of stuff is just coming out that I'm not really into. Again, I only collect what I like to collect. So I do have a ton of pre-orders though, and I'm just waiting for those to hit. And once they do, you guys will start seeing a lot of videos. Um, but you know, it's been nice. Kind of give me a little bit of a break here. And, um, you know, again, find stuff you guys like. Like, I mean, I buy this stuff because I really like it. I wasn't gonna get Buzz Lightyear, but again, check that trailer out. Really, really cool. So, um, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've seen Brightburn. Let me know what you think about that because it's it's kind of a weird movie. Um, again, let me know which one you guys like better. Let me know what you think about Buzz, Magneto, and we will see if this guy glows in the dark because I really want to see what he looks like. So. Oh, turn off the light now. Hang on. Let me turn off this one back okay, here. Okay, let's do it. It's the lights. This blood is just drying <laughs> my face up. Sometime today. Okay. There we go. Let's see. I don't see Jack. No, yeah, he's not glowing no, in the dark. No, he isn't glowing in the dark. Oh, oh. So he's not glowing in the dark. What the heck? We'll have to try it differently. Maybe we need to put him up to a light and then uh, do it there. But, so there you got it. So, again, happy Halloween. You know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, share me your Halloween costumes. I'd love to see it. I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about my bloody mess here. So, uh, you guys will see the pictures of me and... Uh, my wife on Instagram. Maybe I'll post one at the end of this video. I don't know. Um, but again, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Link is in the description below. And yeah, you know, have a safe Halloween. Enjoy it and watch some football on Halloween. Eat candy, get nice and fat. And, you know, we'll get into it again next week. We'll do another video. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. And as always, collectors never stop collecting. By the way, guys, that stupid marshmallow pop does not glow in the dark. I tried and I tried and I tried and it didn't glow in the dark.